Just wait. Should I get my red buff first? No. No. Alright, I got it. Alright, ready? Ready? I'm queuing in one, two, three. Go! Oh, let's go! Oh I ignited! Oh. oh, let's go! It worked! <laughs> Welcome back everybody, it's time for a 200 IQ showcase featuring the biggest brain plays. Remember to hit that like if you enjoy and subscribe if you want to see some more. Let's hop right back in with an insanely creative use and abuse of Tibbers. Uh, Look at her HP, how did she not die? <laughs> oh, did you see that? Okay. That ward placement was straight up evil. Next up, we got the one handed dream showing how to deny the blast cone escapes. Right here? Nice. Alright, someone clip that, please. What a tricky bait and switch. So we've been into this next play, we got Fenisk with some super tricky movement. Watch out for our friendly Zoe providing some much needed vision. Eyes in the sky. There it is. Well timed. For context, Festive in this clip told his buddy he'd be right back. So yeah, if we look at the mouse, we can see that Yumi is indeed AFK for this entire clip. They're so low! Oh, double kill!
Nice. Faust is the king of abusing that fog of war with a fully charged Q. Okay, next up, check out this big brain ward bait. Oh yeah, you was <laughs> with the wrong guy. <laughs> oh my god. Check out the super quick thinking by Katarina to deny any sort of path for escape. Dagger drop into Blast Cone Denial, that was sick. Okay, coming up next we got Vabes with a super sneaky power spike. Eyes on our boy Jin in this play. I don't know if this guy's got future sight or what. Like, are you telling me that was all calculated? Because it kind of looked like it. Okay, next up, here's Ivan Pigman pulling off some mind-melting clone control from three levels down. Leave it to the creator of the great brushy brushy juke to pull off a masterful swap like that. And speaking of masterful swaps, there's no bait in this play, just a really deadly switch. What is happening? She 
you get six here, I think. Check out this pathing by Inspired. He sneaks into this bush without getting spotted, and at this point, it's just pure game knowledge and a hard read on Whippo's pathing. He knew the Scuttle Crab was available on the top side. He knew that Whippo would want to go for it, and now he's in the perfect spot. Inspired just reads them. Crescent Guard's gonna knock back Nisky Nasson so low, but Inspired! How are you this smart, man? What the hell? Flipping Et attention à pas trop donner trop de kills de la droite. Sur mathématique, je peux le chier à travers le wall. Pardon. Quoi? Comment est-ce possible? J'ai jamais vu ça de ma vie. Pareil. Keep a close eye on Inori's mouse here. This is how you buffer an auto. Notice how he just clicked and left it there, so the next auto automatically leaped to Kaisa. Let's go, EJ. Come on, you're ready, EJ. Come on, EJ. Nope, I don't know. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> that was smart. <laughs>Gorgeous angle on that shuffle. Okay, next up, check out this two-fold bait. Nico tosses out the shape splitter towards her tower to bait both Urgot and Viego upwards. She hits them both with the emote bait, pulling both players on top of each other to line up the Tangled Barb's Pop Blossom combo.
That is going to do it for today's episode on 200 IQ Plays. Remember, you can submit your own plays to our website below at potatomonster.com. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you do want to see some more. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next episode.